Hi, I'm a doctor of Eastern medicine. My name is Annie. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why typical reduced stress remedies don't usually work when you're highly stressed out. If you would like tips and tricks every single week about how to reduce stress, anxiety, overwhelm, and create a much happier life, then subscribe, hit the bell, and they will come to you every week. Typical reduced stress advice is usually get more exercise, sleep better, eat better, eat more healthy. These are just three examples, but those things are almost impossible to do when your stress is really high. Let's start with exercising more. Why is it harder to exercise more when you're highly stressed? Well, from seeing patients over the years and doing all of the research that I've done and having the education that I have being a doctor of Eastern medicine, I know that stress zaps your energy. It just does. High stress on a consistent basis makes you very tired. And when you're very tired, the last thing you want to do is even go on a 20 minute walk. It's hard to motivate yourself when you are so exhausted. So that's why you don't want to exercise when you're highly stressed. Why do you want to not eat healthy when you're highly stressed? Well, comfort foods are called comfort foods for a reason. And there have been studies done that show that carbohydrates can increase serotonin production in the body. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter that makes you calmer and happier. So that is why you crave those foods when you're stressed out. You're self-medicating, basically. And it's really hard to eat healthy because you keep being pulled in the direction of wanting that comfort, wanting that calm, right? And that's a simple reason, and there are other reasons, but suffice it to say, that's one of them. How, why is it harder to sleep? Well, just get better sleep. Just, you know, go ahead and do that when you're stressed. <laughs> I always laugh about that because it's really hard to do when you're stressed. At nighttime, cortisol levels are supposed to be their lowest. Cortisol is your stress hormone. And what happens with cortisol when you're stressed is it spikes, right? And if it's spiking during the day, that pattern can also happen at night, which A, can make it harder to fall asleep because your cortisol level is higher, but B, it can wake you up during the night. So getting better sleep isn't that easy when you're highly stressed. So I laugh when people tell me and come into me and say, oh yeah, well, I just need to X, Y, Z. <laughs> okay, if only it were that easy. And then they get upset when they can't do it. You know, oh, I just need to sit down and empty my mind and meditate. Well, when you're highly stressed, you can't empty your mind you might be able to engage in a very short guided meditation, but that option isn't thrown out to people very often. But you see what I'm saying. So when you're highly stressed, it's really difficult to do these things. And then when you can't, it makes you more stressed. And you think maybe there's something wrong with you and there's not, you're completely normal. And I wanted to explain that to you today. I do have tons of tips and tricks on this channel for actually being able to reduce those high stress, anxiety, and overwhelm levels and also create a happier life. But today I wanted to explain to you why most of those stress tips aren't going to work. And if they work, they will only work just a little bit. Just so you know that there's nothing wrong with you. If you want more tips about how to create a happier life, a more balanced mind, subscribe and hit the bell and I will be bringing them to you every week. I will see you soon.